And I stood right up in the middle of that meeting and I walked over to a man and I said, will you please help me? I have no idea. I repeated what the boy said. I said, I have no idea how to live and I'm going to die. And this guy said, yes, I will help you. And he grabbed a hold of me. And some other guys grabbed a hold of me. And from that day to this day, I've been willing to do absolutely anything I have to do, never to be back out there again. Right? Now, here's the interesting thing is that when that happens in us, when that, see, the book says that we had to admit to our innermost self complete defeat, right? The first step is nothing anybody can take from me. It's nothing you can talk me into. And there's nothing you can scare me into with your war stories of how bad it was for you, was for you out there. Okay? Because if what I've gone through out there is not bad enough for me to want to get sober, then what you tell me about what you've done is definitely not bad enough for me to get sober. Right? So it's going to have to happen on an internal level. And when it does, it's like the heavens will open up for us, man, because there's this thing in me that says I absolutely have to run every area of my life and I have to I absolutely have to run everything that I do, right? I've got everything under control, no matter how crazy it might look. And I've got this whole drug usage thing down too. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to get it. One day, I'm going to turn it all around, right? Who's had those thoughts, right? You done burned everything you got to the ground. You done got rabbit ears hanging out of your pockets. You got nothing left, man. But one day, I'm going to turn it around. All right? I mean, and that's where we get. So there has to be that surrender inside. And when that happened, I became willing to do whatever I'd have to do. Now, the reason that, that people like us who have that experience, who get connected, because that's a step one experience. Understand? That's when it happens, right? And the reason that people like us go back out and use dope again is one of two reasons. Either we're never connected to step one or we lose our connection to step one. The way I live my life today will look what my connection to step one looks like, right? So if I'm connected to the fact that I'm going to drink whiskey and do dope no matter what, and I never have had, never have, nor will I ever have the power to choose not to drink or do dope again, okay, if I'm connected to that, then I'm always going to be remain willing to do everything I have to do in here to stay free from that because I'm never given choice. 